Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you a uh, replacement wheel that we're using on my Gorilla cart. Now, we found those wheels at Harbor Freight. They were $14.99 uh, one day while we was in Knoxville. My wheels have gotten really old and last year we kept having to air a couple of them up. They just wouldn't stay up. Now you can replace the inner tubes in your tires, but mine have dry rotted from the get out in the weather proof. I've had this cart five or six years, I guess now. The only thing that uh, after we got them home, because we wasn't sure when we bought them, we knew they was the right size, but we wasn't sure if this uh, shaft part would work. Because this side is pretty much short, and this one side is long. Well, on the wheels we bought, both sides is long. So my husband got to looking down after we got them home, he thought he'd take that bearing out, and then he could cut that side down. To slice this so they fit on the cart. One thing about the wheels at Harbor Freight, where these are 600 pounds low capacity, those are 400 pound low capacity. So that might make a difference in what you're using your cart for. But I just use mine around the yard. I don't think we'll be hauling gravel in them in it for anytime soon. So. We've used my cart for about every, everything, you know, from hauling wood in it to dirt to gravel and, and stones. So uh, they are a really nice cart. If you don't have one and you're needing a garden cart, I do recommend that good cart. They make a really good product. Wasn't sure when I bought it, if I would like it, if it would work out, but it's worked out really good, especially on my slope yard going up down hills because the big wheels makes it easier to pull. Especially when you're getting older, you need something that's uh, easier on you. So let's get busy and show you how to cut those wheels down should you decide to save you a little money or you can't find a gorilla cart dealer in your area and you need to replace your wheels. Against the side of the wheel and then we'll just tap it, go around it, tapping it real easy. You won't hurt the barn. So you can just knock the crap out of it and knock it out, but you could also damage the barn too. And there she went. If you look down in there, you'll see it hitting on the edge of the barn, not not the okay. seal of the rush. You just tap it like that right there. Easy as pie. So why are you taking the other side back out? That's the side I'm grinding off. I took the other one out so it wouldn't get metal into the barn. Them metal, them little metal sparks, metal shavings, what do you want to call it? They get into the barn, see? Came out and didn't hurt a thing. Good as ever. Okay. Just about right for that, for that uh, uh, washer. Cause I can get the I can get the car key in there without the washer, perfect. It just puts it in a bind when you go to the uh, lift it dog. Hi here. <laughs> oh my God, you must feel must feel good, Coco. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll get that one. Let's just go ahead and mark it while I got it up here. I'm going to have to change it around again. Then I can take the tape back off. And when I cut them, that's going to cut an eighth of an inch more off than what I did with the uh, black tape. Yeah, see. Eighth inch more, perfect. That'll work great. Right. And I'll make room for the washer to go on. That makes room for everything, nothing to be in a bind. I can't see it. Here's another glass. It's awful. But I'm not thinking I have to go back to work. Let me see. I got a zizzer that cut right through them like your putty. What's a zizzer? It's a bigger, bigger one of those, only it's air driven. Got an iron motor on it. Oh, okay. That's why I use them cars now. 
Zest wheel, cut off wheel. They got different names for them. See, I put those little marks there. Remind me not to cut that bottom. Cut on the upper side of it. And I would leave tape on, but every time I cut through tape, I end up breathing that old glue and everything, you know? I just have to cut through the top side of that mark. That's a possible mark there. It's got all on the tape. Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's cut to the top side of that mark and it'll be fine. Okay. It's one, two, this is three. I have to set my cut off wheel up down there. Put this back on. All right. Will you please come off of that? Nope. I'm right talking to you. Just cut the marker at the bottom again, cut it at the top. I could take a scribe and do it if I had one that fit inside here, but I don't. You know, see if we can go around it. And you could do other things too. You could put a piece of pipe or something over and scribe it around it. Piece of little, yeah, it's perfect right there. Do the same thing again, just pull it off and do it again. Okay, so my camera just kept dying on me, so I went and got the phone. And I'm staying inside the screen because of the sparks flying. He's taking a file to it. Just smooth down the. So that burn slide in without catching. Okay, so we're going to take the other side back out and paint it. Yeah. It's not so we can show them how to take the bearings out then. Just take a flat tool and knock them out. Let's make them so they... So what size socket here are you using? I said, well, I just fit it to the barn. So it hit on the flat place of the barn and went down here. That looks like a five, 15 sixteenths. Yeah, good and smooth. Now's the moment of truth. I 
one heard all the things on there, but I don't know if they got a tube in them or not, Ma. I guess they have. Yeah, they have to have a tube in them. Yeah. Yep, just right. How old is this thing? It wasn't that old, was it? I've yeah. had it five or six years, I guess. Oh, I've had thing. a long time. Well, it's pretty old now. One thing I want to add before I go is we chose to put the bearings back in the Harbor Freight wheels. Save your uh, old wheels. That way if those bearings do go bad on you, uh, you will have those from the original grid of Clark to use. Uh, they do look like they are a better made bearing. But uh, for now we're just going to use the ones that come with the wheel. So save yours. Don't throw them away because you might need to replace those. Well, guys, that's my video for today. Thank you for joining me. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to replacing your gorilla cart wheels, uh, check out your uh, local hardware stores, uh, Harbor Freight stores, you know, tool supply stores like that. You uh, might wind up having to cut the shaft down on them a little bit, but uh, they work great. They saved me a little money, even though they took a little work. I get complete and total credit for my husband for the work. Uh, thankful to have him to do stuff like that for me. Even though I could have done it myself, uh, I probably would have burnt the bearings in it, to tell you the truth about it, because I would have thought to just to use a screwdriver, where uh, he knew better for about his years of uh, working on cars and stuff, the right tools to use. So thank you for joining me. Y'all stay safe, and God bless. Well, guys, that's my... my husband <laughs> using them to uh, and uh, kind of you know